the air around you pushes down on you with a pressure of one bar. Water is much heavier than air, so it puts more pressure on you than air. In fact, in seawater the pressure increases by one bar every 10 meters. In seawater the pressure increases by one bar every 10 meters. So in seawater the pressure is one bar for the surface and one bar for every 10 meters of water. 10 meters is 2 bar. At 20 meters deep the pressure is 3 bar. At 30 meters it's 4 bar, etc. So you could say it's always one more than a depth. This means that the pressure in seawater is the depth divided by 10 plus 1 for the surface pressure. For example, the pressure at 22 meters of seawater is 3.2 bar. This is 22 divided by 10, it's 2.2, plus 1 for the surface equals 3.2 bar in total. Let's try another depth. The pressure at 17 meters of seawater is 2.7 bar. 17 divided by 10 is 1.7, plus 1 for the surface equals 2.7 bar in total. Seawater is heavier than fresh water because it has salt in it. Seawater has about 3% salt in it, so it weighs about 3% more. One litre of seawater weighs 1.03 kilograms and one litre of fresh water only weighs one kilogram. Less weight means less pressure. So in fresh water, the pressure increases more slowly, by one bar every 10.3 metres, instead of every 10 metres. So in fresh water, you have to go 10.3 meters deep to have one bar. In fresh water, the pressure is one bar for the surface and one bar for every 10.3 meters of water. And that means the pressure in fresh water is the depth divided by 10.3 plus one for the surface pressure. For example, the pressure at 22 meters of fresh water is 3.14 bar. Use your calculator. When you divide 22 by 10.3, you get this long number. Rounded to two decimal places, that is 2.14 bar. Now remember to add 1 for the surface, so that's 3.14 bar in total. Let's try another depth in fresh water. The pressure at 4 meters of fresh water is 1.39 bar. That's 4 divided by 10.3, which equals 0.39 plus 1 for the surface equals 1.39 in total. When we add the one bar of surface pressure, we call this the absolute or ambient pressure. If we do not add the one bar of surface pressure, we call this the gauge pressure. The gauge pressure is the water pressure alone.
Now take your time having a look at this table, which compares the pressure in seawater and freshwater, and also compares the gauge pressure with the absolute or the ambient pressure. You will notice that with the fresh water, the pressure is always slightly less than it is in seawater. Remember, if you want to practice more examples of working out the pressure in seawater and in freshwater, download the worksheet from the resources for this lecture.